AI is everywhere. But here's the million-dollar question for 2025. Can free AI tools really compete with paid ones? Or are they just limited versions meant to upsell you? Today, we'll dive into the real difference between free and paid AI tools and whether free tools have finally caught up. Let's start with the free tools. By 2025, free AI tools are no longer just trials or gimmicks. They offer real value. And in many cases, you can build a full workflow without spending a dime. Popular examples include ChatGPT Free, GPT 3.5, Canva Magic Studio, Free Tier, Bing Image Creator, Dolly Powered, Notion AI Basic Features, Descript's Limited Editing Tools. These are powerful enough to write blogs, create images, summarize reports, and even edit video audio content. Five years ago, free AI tools were limited, slow, clunky, and frustrating, but 2025 changed the game. Thanks to open source development and freemium business models, free tools now offer natural language generation, mid-level image generation, voiceovers, basic quality, workflow automation, and platforms like Hugging Face and Poe give you access to multiple AI models for free. But let's not overhype it. Free tools still have their limits. Usage caps. You might hit a daily or monthly limit. Watermarked outputs, especially on images or videos. Limited model access. Often stuck on GPT-3.5, not GPT-4. Lack of support or customization. So, if you're creating at scale or need advanced features, you may feel restricted. Now, what about the paid tools? When you pay for AI in 2025, you're not just buying features, you're buying speed, control, output quality, commercial usage rights, access to advanced models. Let's look at real-world tasks. Blog writing free, chat GPT 3.5. Basic Outline Paid, GPT-4 Refined, SEO-optimized, structured content Image Generation Free Bing Image Creator 1024 Pixels Resolution Paid, Mid-Journey Cinematic Quality In 2025, the smartest creators use a hybrid model. Use free tools for ideation, planning, and rough drafts. Then switch to paid tools for final output polish and scale. This way you save money, maintain quality, stay flexible. So back to our question, can free AI tools compete with paid ones in 2025? For personal use, learning, or small projects? Absolutely. For commercial grade output, large scale work, or customization, paid still wins. But here's the truth. The gap is shrinking. And for many people, free tools are already enough. The AI revolution isn't about choosing free or paid. It's about knowing what to use when. As the gap closes, you hold the power to build smart workflows without wasting resources. So test, explore, and find the right balance for your goals. This is AI Crunch, helping you navigate the AI world one smart decision at a time. See you in the next one.